Hi folks, this is a, a video for folks on the Mandolin Cafe, you know who you are. And um, unusually for me, I have three bold backs all strung up at the same time, and I thought it might be fun to compare them. So we have a fairly ornate stridente, sort of uh, mid-range make, I guess. We have bottom of the range, Dimaggio, but a good mate, Dimaggio. And we have, this is a E de Cristofaro. This is uh, Mark Woodward's uh, instrument. So let's give them all a quick play. And see what they sound like. This is where we find out if I've managed to keep three bowl backs in tune at the same time. I think the chances may be slim. Okay, just so you know. So let's just try Dante, let's try the DiMaggio. This one's from 1910, this DiMaggio. Okay, finally, a Cristofaro. I do have a problem with this because I keep catching the pick on this um, fingerboard extension and it's remembering to pick in the right place. So there we go. Um, interesting thing about this one, it's um, the sound really echoes around inside. 
and, and particularly on this bottom G string, if you give it a good thump, I don't know if you heard that, but there's actually a delay. You hit it and the string kind of goes, and then it starts vibrating. And you can actually see it, you can see the string kind of move a little bit, think, and then start moving. It's, it's, it's weird, okay? <laughs> definitely the most uh, it's got the most kind of reverb effect going on of all of them and the, particularly on that bottom G that just goes on forever and ever I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it's, it's an interesting thing. <laughs> Tell me what you think.